Hello, this is Gio. Hey, I recently rewired this electric switch to a basement uh, away from this refrigerator because it's kind of difficult to access. And as you can see right here, uh, it's actually a double switch. One of the switches, I have no idea what it's for. I think it was abandoned years ago, but it's still hot. And there's actually still a hot wire to the uh, light switch to the left as well. And so today I'm going to remove these light switches and abandon this electrical box to a safe condition. So the first thing you want to do is turn off the power at the breaker box and just remove the faceplate to the light switch or receptacle you want to abandon. Then you want to remove the screws that connect the light switch or receptacle to the electrical box and then carefully pull out the light switches as far as you can. Uh, this may depend on how much wire that's left in the box, but always treat the wires as hot for safety, even though you should have already turned the power off at the breaker box. So here I've turned back on the power, and now I'm testing each individual light switch. The one on the right seems to be powered off, even though I know there uh, remains a hot line to the switch itself, but the circuit itself appears dead. The one on the left, you could see, is still uh, live. But the one on the right, again, I don't know where this goes to, but clearly uh, the neutral wire is a dead or disconnected wire. So since this is very old wiring, I definitely want to verify which wire is hot. I have a pretty good idea just uh, based on how it's wired in the box, but I'm using my tester here just to kind of uh, go back and forth and verify which, uh, which lugs are hot and which lugs are not. And it looks like the ones on the bottom are hot. And to fully verify this, I grounded one end of my tester with a separate piece of wire and just, and just touch the other end to each lug. And when it lights up, it, it shows me which lug is hot. And so, yes, indeed, the lower lugs are hot and therefore that's the hot wire. And so with the power turned off again, just take a screwdriver and loosen the screws to the light switch or receptacle and remove the wires. For the right light switch, the wires were actually pushed in using backstabbing. And so I had to take a small screwdriver to release the wire using the back slot. The wires for the left light switch were connected to the screws, so they just came out by loosening the screws. I then straightened all the wires and inserted wire caps on each wire, even the dead ones. I did mark the cap for the hot wires with an H for future reference. I then carefully reinserted the wires back into the box, trying to ensure that the caps were generally away from each other. So I did purchase a blank faceplate to cover up the box. You don't want to hide the wiring behind drywall. You need to have access to the wiring. Code pretty much requires that. So for future reference, I did label which wire was hot and the breaker it was associated to. This will just help me in the future if I need to do future work in this box. So now it's just a matter of inserting the four screws to hold the plate in place and then you're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.